Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, I will provide a comprehensive guide how to adjust and commission generator AVR automatic voltage regulator. Let's get started. Part 1. In this part, we're going to learn how to adjust voltages, stability, and UFRO under frequency Rolo FF. Safety precautions. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Use PPE to protect yourself, including gloves and safety glasses. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as lockout tagout and PDW procedures. These activities should only be carried out by qualified and or experienced engineers who have received safety training on live equipment. All test instruments and their leads connectors probes must be checked to ensure that they are suitable for the voltage levels being tested and are in good working order. Never attempt to test a live generator without another competent person present to shut down the engine or switch gear as necessary. Ensure that the work area is safe. Other personnel in the area are advised of what you are doing. Warning notices and tapes are displayed to advise others of the hazards. Required equipment and tools. Digital multimeter for measuring voltage, resistance, and continuity. Clamp meter for measuring AC-DC current without disconnecting wires. Voltage adjustment. Clockwise rotation of voltage potentiometer increases the generator volts. Anti-clockwise rotation of voltage potentiometer decreases the generator volts. A remote voltage trimmer can be fitted across the AVR input terminals Mark 1 and 2, normally linked. The link must be removed from terminals 1 and 2. All AVR types require 1K ohm potentiometer, with exception of AVR type MX321 requires 4.7K ohm. AVR type MA327 requires 5.0K ohm. This potentiometer operates as a fine voltage adjustment in conjunction with the coarse volts adjustment on the AVR. The voltage range of the AVR volts potentiometer can be much higher or lower than the design limits for the generator windings. The voltage range is decided by many interdependent design considerations, excitation levels, main stator winding turns. The main stator windings are designed to operate within a specific voltage range, which will be different for 50HZ or 60HZ operation. Care must be taken when adjusting the voltage level to keep within the voltage range specified. Problems which may occur as a result of operating outside of the generator voltage limit below minimum flux level. The control system will be affected, creating poor voltage response to load changes, higher voltage dip and overshoot, and overheated stator windings. Above maximum flux level, the excitation current will be too high, resulting in overheating of the main rotor excitation windings with possible insulation deterioration. Reduce life expectancy for the insulation system. This table shows typical winding types with voltage ranges. Series star connected alternator. Voltage regulation. This is the steady state voltage condition from no load to full load. The AVR must automatically control the voltage with maximum deviation from the original no load setting as specified. 0.5% voltage regulation for AVR types MX321, SX421, MA325, MA327. 1% voltage regulation for AVR types MX341, SX440, SA465. 1.5% voltage regulation for AVR type SX460. Stability adjustment. Selection of stability settings for optimum response. Before adjusting the stability control, the stability selection link or switch on the AVR should be adjusted to the correct position. This circuit must be set to match the kilowatt rating of the generator. The stability link or selection switch sets the AVR stability response circuit to match the time constant of the generator, which becomes slower as the generator size increases. Note, the SX460 AVR does not have stability links. Stability links for AVR types SX440, SX421, MX341, MX321. Link A to C for generator sizes under 90 kilowatts. Link B to C for generator sizes 90 to 550 kilowatts. Link A to B for generator sizes over 550 kilowatts. 
Link D to be for generator sizes under 40 kilowatts. SX421 AVR only. Stability switches for AVR types SA465, MA325. MA327 can be found in these tables. Enjoying the video? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to support Powertech Insights and keep learning with more tutorials. Voltage response. Typical response time for all AVRs is returned to 97% of nominal volts within 300 milliseconds. Voltage dip and overshoot is determined by the amount of load current and the power factor applied at one time relative to the full load current of the machine. Motor starting requirements must be calculated to require dip levels. The AVR stability control must be adjusted to optimize the AVR transit response to rapid load changes, including motor starting. Stability adjustment for optimum response. Run generator without load. Rotate anti-clockwise until voltage becomes unstable. Next, rotate slightly clockwise until voltage becomes stable. Reset the voltage to nominal. Recheck stability when on load. UFRO under frequency roll OFF. This adjustment is factory sealed. The UFRO circuit will switch on automatically at approximately 95% of the nominal speed. Adjustment of the UFRO factory setting is required only for special application requirements or fault finding purpose. AC generators are constant speed devices. The diesel engine should maintain a constant speed in the steady state condition of within 4% of the nominal speed. Operation of the generator continuously at speeds below the nominal level will result in additional heating to the excitation windings and possible damage or deterioration of the winding insulation. The UFRO circuit is designed to automatically reduce the excitation current to safe levels should the speed fall below 5% of the nominal. Transient speed drop may occur as a result of switching on large load currents. In this situation, the UFRO circuit can assist with rapid engine recovery to the nominal speed. The frequency selection links must be set at the operating frequency of the generator, 50 HZ, 4 or 6 pole generators, or 60 HZ, 4 or 6 pole generators, MX341, MX321, and MA325 AVRs have a provision for 6 pole generators, where the lower speed PMG supply requires a different frequency setting. The MA325 and MA327 AVRs have mini switch selection for setting the protection circuit to the operating frequency of the generator, 50 or 60 HZ. The MA325 AVR has a provision for six pole generators where the lower speed PMG supply requires a different frequency setting. Knee point factory set at approximately 95%. Clockwise adjustment reduces knee point setting. Anti-clockwise rotation increases knee point setting. Engine speed falls below knee point setting at 95%. Engine speed rises above knee point setting at 95%. Adjustment of a UFRO circuit. To adjust factory setting, remove seal. Reduce engine speed to 95% of the nominal speed. Adjust the UFRO trimmer until the LED light is on. The circuit is now set correctly for the generator protection. The engine can now be reset to normal speed with the UFRO circuit off. Engine overload situation. Should the engine become overloaded at approximately 95% below nominal speed, the UFRO protection circuit will switch on. This will immediately result in a fall in output voltage from the generator proportional to the speed drop, which automatically reduces kilowatt load. This will relieve the overload on the engine, which may now be able to recover to normal speed levels, switching the UFRO off. This will also return the overload to engine. The engine speed may fall again, switching on the UFRO circuit again. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.